everyone welcome back to my channel today we're gonna get into my June favorites I cannot believe it's already July like where the heck did June go like I can't keep up time is flying by but I'm actually excited for July to be here because my son is going to be making a quick trip home for a couple of days he's been gone all summer doing summer cells in Missouri and he is coming home for just a few days but I'm so excited I have not seen him since May and I'm dying I'm dying inside okay anyway so we're gonna jump into my favorites there's only a few fills in this video I want to talk about those first and kind of get your input because I'm still on the fence about both of these products. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is these little lipsticks from Fenty. I'm still kind of playing around with it because I'm like, okay, I like the formula, but do I feel like it's worth it? Ooh, I don't know. So we're going to jump into that product first just to kind of get it out of the way. So it is the new Fenty Slip Shine Sheer Shiny Lipsticks. And that is like a slip, slip, slip crazy tongue twister so these retail for $22 each I got two shades I went ahead and picked up makeup break makeout break and glazed and they're really kind of interesting like I'm still kind of on the fence about how you feel about them I'm kind of like are they worth it I know they have like a lot of really good ingredients but I kind of feel like it's like a glorified chapstick is what I kind of feel like I'm kind of on the fence thinking there's probably like lip chapstick like glossy colorful chapsticks out on the market at the drugstore that are priced similar to these that are not as expensive because you don't get that much you only get 2.8 grams and they're $22 so they're kind of pricey so this is glazed and this is make out break so you know they're colorful but when you put them on the lips they don't stay colorful very long and I don't really feel like they stay shiny very long so I'm still kind of playing around with them. I've had them for about two weeks. I have the shade glazed in my purse and I kind of pop it on throughout the day when I'm not filming and stuff. And I'm still on the fence about them. I think they're comfortable, but I don't think they last very long. If you guys bought these, let us know in the comments down below how you guys are liking them because I'm still kind of like, eh, I don't know. Also, I did buy a new ring light. It was a $300 ring light. I've been wanting to buy this ring light for a while now. So let me know in the comments down below what you think of this lighting. I'm still kind of messing around with it because I am not good at this stuff. I'm not good with lighting and camera and all of that. So I'm learning. But let me know in the comments down below how you guys like the new lighting because oh, that is for a whole other day, you guys. I am just so, I feel so like dumb when it comes to this stuff. Okay, next products I want to talk about are these three new brushes from Wayne Goss. So these are the newest like limited edition uh like artist brushes that he released I just washed them last night because i'm trying to make them work i'm trying but they're so incredibly soft like some of the most softest brushes i've ever used in my life like they feel unbelievable on the face but if you guys got these brushes are you struggling with using them as far as like don't get me wrong, they pick up a lot of product. Like when you, you know, put it down into the product, it picks up quite a bit. But I almost feel like they're too soft to be a workhorse, you know? Like even like this little small one, I've tried to put eyeshadow on with this and failed miserably. So if I went into this palette, I'm gonna go into the darkest shade. It picks up a lot of product, it really does. But when you go to blend it out, it's like hard. It, the, the powder almost disappears. I don't know if I'm the only one struggling with that, but I cannot get these to work. So let's go into this dark shade again. Okay, let's pick up a lot so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. Okay, you can see I've picked up quite a bit, right? So I'm just going to do it here on the back. Look at this. Like I can't, like when you put it on, it just... I don't know they're really hard it's really hard to use this as an eye brush so I thought okay well maybe I'll use this for like maybe a little bit of under eye powder doesn't really work he said you could use any of these three brushes for pretty much anything you want which I get I've been using this medium sized one to kind of like sweep away any extra product that might be sitting you know from putting my eyeshadow on or anything like that 
but I'm still trying to find a way to make them work for the hundred and seventy some dollars that I spent on them because they were pretty dang expensive. Um, I don't know. Like, I, I don't know what to do. I'm on the fence. I don't really like returning things unless I'm just absolutely unhappy. I'm not somebody that just returns a lot of stuff uh, because I think it's just kind of wasteful. So I'm trying to make them work. And I do think that the squirrel hair is probably the softest thing I've ever felt in my entire life. But I just can't get it to apply anything. Like I tried to use this for blush and I just don't like it. I've just, I don't know. Am I the only one that's having these experiences with these brushes? If you guys have found a way to make these brushes work, please let me know in the comments down below because right now I'm on the fence about it. Like a part of me is like, uh-uh, these are not even remotely worth the price. And then part of me are like, okay, I don't think that he would have released something that he didn't believe in. So how am I using them that's wrong? Like what am I doing wrong? So let me know. I do like how uniquely shaped they are and how the bristles are cut in such a unique way, but I can't get them to work. <laughs> I just can't. So I'm going to use the medium size one uh, to, to apply my uh, powder right here. This is my Charlotte Tilbury. And don't get me wrong, because the bristles are so black, it you can definitely see the product on the bristles, but... I have a lot of brushes that are black and they don't pick up this much product. It's almost like these are so soft that they pick up a lot of product, but then when you go to use them, you're like, ooh, I don't know. I think they work, but I'm just not like in love with them. Like I'm not in love with them to say that they are worth, you know, what I paid for them. No, I've washed them twice now trying because I know that as you wash brushes especially any type of natural hairbrush the more you wash them the better they get so I know that um I washed them before I even used them and then I've washed them twice now trying to get them to kind of be a little bit tougher uh because they grip things great because they're soft but they don't because they're so soft, it's almost like they don't apply anything the way that you want it to. I don't know. I'm still on the fence about these. So definitely let me know in the comments down below if you guys are making these work because I'm a little desperate. These were pretty pricey. Okay. Let's jump into my favorites. So the first product I want to talk about is this. This was actually referred to me from my doctor. This is the Ageless Rapid Support Cream. So this is a muscle cream and it is fabulous. So I have um, like arthritis and stuff build up in my neck and I, over time and over the years, I have to put something on it at night to kind of relax those muscles so that when I sleep, I don't wake up with really bad tension headaches. I used to get migraines, but gratefully I have not had a migraine in like five years, but well, it's probably been longer than that. It's probably been like seven years now. But anyway, long story short, I have arthritis and normally I need to put some kind of muscle cream on my neck before I go to bed at night. So I've used a ton of different creams out there. I've used this one from doTERRA. This is the Deep Red Blue. This is a really good one. Like this is a good one. Uh, so I was using that for the longest time and then my doctor referred me to this brand and I love this. And recently I bought their liquid form of the CBD. So this has CBD in it. I think this has 750 milligram of full spectrum hemp. So if you guys are kind of in like the whole CBD hemp stuff, I think you'll enjoy this. This has been like a lifesaver for me. I think this is like my third tube. I've been using it for a while. This tube probably lasts me like two months using it every night on my neck and you don't need to use very much. I only use maybe like this much. It's not very much, but this stuff, I just bought. I bought it in the pina colada flavor and it's strong. <laughs> like, oh, it's strong. It has 1000 milligrams per bottle. And I think, um, you know, I think you're supposed to take like a dropper of it a day or something, but I'm still kind of playing around with this, but I love this. Absolutely love it. And I think it's like 40 bucks too. So I, so I think it's probably around the same price as the doTERRA or maybe a little cheaper than the doTERRA, but really good. So I wanted to mention that in the video. Okay. Next up, we're going to talk about my new favorite retinal cream. I have been using Numi for a quite a while now, a couple months. It's more of like a hybrid organic retinal and it kind of does everything. It has like vitamin C and you know, all these different things in it and including a natural retinal. But this brand, uh, Dermatology, they sent this to me 
This is hands down probably one of the best retinals I've ever used in my life. And in fact, I used this and within days after using it, I had so many people comment asking me, what have you done different with your skin? Your skin looks so beautiful. Like what have you done? And I was really surprised that even you guys could notice it. So like some of the uh, dark spots, you guys know that, you know, I do have some of those um, like patches of dark spots and it's all fading because of this. And this is only 0.5%. It's not even a full percent of retinol. This is the best retinal cream I've ever used. Now, yes, it did make me peel. I was peeling pretty good. This one also has vitamin C and vitamin E to max to maximize the effectiveness of the retinol. Uh, but oh my gosh, and it's pretty dang affordable. They gave me a code. If you guys want to use it, it will save you a little bit of money. I think it saves like a 20%. Uh, but the code is Terra20. I'm starting to get more and more stuff sent to me. 99% of it I never talked to you guys about. 99% of it. Uh, and I've actually had brands kind of get pissed at me for not talking about it. The only time I ever talk about a product on camera is if it's something that I've used and I like. And this was bomb. Like, this is so good. They sent me other things. They sent me their tinted moisturizer. I'm not a fan of the tinted moisturizer because it kind of makes me look a little ghost-like. Uh, it needs to be, like, I need something a little bit warmer on my skin. So I don't like their tinted moisturizer. Um, but oh my gosh, their retinal cream blow your mind. It's We're going to move on to one more product that was sent to me and I just have to mention it. So, so House of Siage sent over this, uh, beat private beach, uh, collection. Holy smokes, you guys, it smells so good. It smells so good. It smells so good. There's four parts to it. So they have obviously the shower gel, they have the body lotion, they have the body oil, and then this hydrating facial mist. I have not used this yet because I'm a little bit nervous about it because I just don't know what it's gonna do. Uh, so, oh, I thought it was gonna be oily, but it's not. Um, it's not bad. So I haven't used this yet. You guys seen me just use it for the first time, but I have used the shower gel a couple of times. Obviously I've used the lotion a couple of times, but this body oil, it's the best body oil I've ever used. So soothing, but not like super duper oily. Like there's a lot of skin oils out there that are just oily. This one I can put on and within like 20 minutes, it, my skin kind of absorbs it and I don't have that like glossy, like oily look on my skin. One of the best oils, like I don't know how they created it, but one of the best body oils. Now, but don't get me wrong, the shower gel and the body lotion, they're pretty good too. I don't know that they're worth it because this stuff is pretty pricey, but the body oil, holy smokes, it's my favorite body oil. In fact, I'm thinking about going on their website and buying like three bottles of it just to keep it on hand because I think this is a limited edition collection. But thank you so much, House of Siage. But this stuff is the bomb, like bomb, so good. Okay. Now we're gonna move on to makeup. And I'm gonna first talk about the foundation that I'm actually wearing today. This is the Beauty Blender Bounce Liquid Whip Long Wear Foundation. I actually really like this foundation. I've heard like Tati talk about it a few times in, you know, when it first came out, She's she it was one of those foundations that she used on a daily, regular basis. And I've heard a lot of people like it, and I think I tried it, but I, I think the color was off and I didn't love the color, so I didn't use it. Recently, it was on sale at Sephora for half off. So I went ahead and bought a darker shade thinking, well, if, it, if the dark shade is a little bit too dark, I can use it with the light shade that I have on hand. I bought it in the shade 3.70, which is like a warm olive tone. Perfect. This foundation matches my skin to a perfection and it just looks amazing and it lasts all day. Now, I wouldn't say it's like a super hydrating foundation. I would say it has like a, like a soft satin finish to it, but if it comes back on sale again, you guys, this is a pretty decent foundation. Really impressed with it. And I've noticed that they've added more shades. And also, it's made in Italy. This foundation is made in Italy. I'm impressed with it. And it is one of those that lasts quite a while. And I use it 
quite frequently. It's kind of in my daily rotation of foundation and I really, really like this. The only thing I don't like about it is that I always have to clean up um, after I use it, but I'm always using a makeup wipe and I always have a makeup wipe around me when I'm getting ready. So I just use my makeup wipe to clean it off. Uh, but a really good foundation. So good. So impressive. The next product is from By Terry. So this is her Brightening CC Blush. Now, somebody had told me, I don't even know when this was launched. It's probably been a couple months ago, but somebody in the comment section told me because I'm starting to get into like the liquid or the creamy blushes, they were like, you gotta try the liquid blush from By Terry. Oh my gosh, do I love this liquid blush. I'm wearing it right now and it blends into the skin in such a beautiful, soft way. Oh, now the only thing that I will say is that I feel like the pump puts out too much. I never end up using a full pump of it. I would recommend using like a half of a pump of it uh, because I just wish that the pumper didn't allow so much product to come out because it's just a complete waste. And the problem is, is I haven't been able to get the lid off. So if I put out too much on my hand, like a full pump, uh, I can't take this off and put it back in. So you know, be mindful of that. But if you guys had been thinking about getting this from By Terry, it's really good. Really good. Of course, I can't do this video without talking about this new blush from Patrick Ta, oh, you guys. I love this blush. I love this blush. This one is the shade She's So LA. I love this so much. Like, so much more than I ever thought I would. When I bought this, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna give it a try. It is so good, you guys. It is one of the best like blush duos that I have ever used. It's fabulous. Like he killed it. Such a good formula. And applying the powder first and then using the cream to kind of bring the powder to life, it's genius, genius. And let me tell you this, it's very, in the makeup world, there's so many new products out on the market and everything's already been done, right? This was something that needed to be done, but nobody had done it yet. Fabulous, like he killed it, knocked it out of the ballpark, killed it. It's so good. One of my favorite shades and it's really good. Of course, I can't do the video without talking about the new bronze palette from Natasha Denona. I've been really enjoying this. There are things missing in this palette. It doesn't have an inner corner highlight. It doesn't have like a darker shade, but oh my gosh, it's so good. Like this palette is so pigmented and so perfect and so pretty and I'm wearing it today. I know it's bronzy and I know that we always have a lot of bronzy palettes in our collection but I really like this bronzy palette. I'm wearing it right now on my eyes. I've been using it pretty much every day since I got it, and I just love it. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful palette, so I had to include it in this video. If you guys have not seen the review on this, I will link it up here in the eye cards, but yeah, so pretty. I never, I'm gonna repeat myself, normally never do I ever, never have I ever, no. Never do I never, wait, Normally I never ever buy brushes that come with products, right? So if I do, I wait a while to kind of get to know the product, see if I like it, use my own brushes. And then if I feel like I just haven't found that right brush to apply it, then I say, okay, maybe I should buy the brush that was released with the product. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer brush that she launched when she launched her new bronzers. I love this bronzer. It's so beautiful and it's one of my favorites, but I've used so many different brushes and don't get me wrong, I love the way that the brushes apply it, but I just haven't found that right fit. So, I don't know, a couple weeks ago I was watching um, Lisa Lisa D1. I love her, love her channel, love her little sweet Southern accent. She's absolutely beautiful and I just admire her greatly. And anyway, I can't remember what video it was, but she, she was talking about the bronzers and I think she ended up buying the bronzer brush that went with it and she suggested, she was like, I think she bought the bronzer first and then decided to buy the bronzer brush later on and then she said these two are magic together. This brush does really work and it, it kind of gives you more of like a compacted type of look. So for example, normally the bronzer brush that I like to use is this one from Refer. I love this bronzer brush. This is the prototype, by the way. This gives you a more direct application of the bronzer. Let's just say that you love this bronzer. 
If you love this bronzer and you want to amplify the application, I think you will love this brush. I was really surprised that I like it as much as I do. I've had it for, I don't know, two weeks maybe. The only thing I don't like, is I don't like these travel type of brushes. I understand why they do it, but it's not my favorite. It's not my favorite packaging. There's something about it that the brush makes the bronzer like that much better. This bronzer brush is pretty dang good. I'm really impressed with it. So I wanted to re I wanted to bring that up. The final product I want to talk about is this lipstick from Patrick Ta. I love this. And I'm going to be honest here and people are probably going to come for me in the comments, but be just nice. This is my opinion. And I love it so much more than the Velvet from Lisa Eldridge. So the Velvet collection, I think I bought three shades. It's not my favorite. It's so dry especially the dark shades. I had heard so many people say how amazing this formula was. Such a dry formula that mine broke within a couple of days of having it. Um, but anyway, it does have like a velvet look on the outside. Like the packaging is pretty cool, but the lipstick itself, I always felt was just too drying and it never looked good on my lips. Like I could never make that lipstick look good. I have three shades paid like 90 some dollars for all three shades. And I just was not a fan of this formula. This is the velvet one. So for those of you that are huge Lisa Eldridge lipsticks fans, I'm not talking about all of our lipsticks. I'm just talking about this one, but I love the matte revolution lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury, but I will say this from Patrick Ta is really good. And it's so long lasting. It does kind of give you that velvet matte look, but in a very hydrated satin way. And it's really interesting, the formula. Probably one of the better formulas out on the market. Uh, I'm really impressed with it. I think I bought one more shade and I'm really hoping that he releases more shades in this formula because it's really good because I think he only had like four shades with the launch. Um, the lip liner I like, it's not a bad lip liner, but the lipstick is so good. And the more that I keep reaching for it and the more that I keep trying it on and wearing it throughout the day, it's such a good, good formula. So that's it. It. Those are my favorites for the month of June. I can't believe it's July already. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me in today's video. Don't forget to let me know in the comments down below what you think of this lighting. I love you all so, so much. I hope you guys all have a wonderful 4th of July weekend with your friends and family. Stay safe, wear those masks, and I love you all so much. Bye!